Hi everyone, my name is Ben Wilcox. I'm creator of the Jagdroid system, which you can see on the bench in front of me here. For those of you that aren't aware, it's a, an upgrade to the Jaguar X-Type, S-Type, and XJ, X350, and X358 models, which had some additional electronics inside the original touchscreen system to give you a fully featured Android operating system. Now that gives you the benefits of being able to run up-to-date navigation apps such as Waze, TomTom, Google Maps, etc as well as music streaming such as Spotify, Amazon Music and, and what have you. Um, the system's been, been out there for a few years now, mainly as a DIY project, but I now do build these to order. Um, I'll give you some links in the description below. But it's, it's been updated significantly since the original incarnation, so I thought it was about time I released an updated video showing you some of the new features and, and improvements. So for example, the touchscreen that I'm using now is a much brighter one than some of the original versions with integral dimming function and it uses now a capacitive multi-touch system just like a modern phone or tablet. So it's much more responsive than the old resistive touch system. Uh, with the new, uh, the new implementation you can now use the skip forward and backwards buttons on the CD player to skip the music tracks as well as using the steering wheel controls uh, to do that as well. Uh, one of the, the big improvements now is that it's now based on the Odroid N2 Plus uh, Android computer, so it's significantly faster than the original C2. Um, it's just as responsive as, a, as you'd expect from a modern phone or tablet. Internally, the system's now built using some custom printed circuit boards that I, I designed and had manufactured. Um, so in terms of that, it, it saves a lot of time during the build. Um, and as to the reliability and the quality of the system, um, rather than using the, the hand-wired components, which you'll see in the DIY instructions on my website, and, and you can still build a system using that DIY method, but the new boards have got some, um, some features which you don't get using the DIY method. For, for example, on the S-Type and the, the XJX350, you used to have to add a relay to the reversing lamp to, to the reverse trigger um, so that the reversing camera image comes up on the screen when you select reverse gear. Now that's all built into the electronics on the PCBs here. So it just makes installation that much easier. Um, but anyway, I think it's probably best um, the next step. We'll go to my car and I'll give you a run through of all the features that you can find on this system. So here we are in my car. This is now showing the Android system already started up because I've got the ignition switched on here. It takes about 20 seconds between switching the ignition on and the Android system booting up. But there's a, a smart little trick that we use here with um, what I call a wake-up signal. So there's a wire that goes down and connects to the interior light in the footwell. So the idea being that when you unlock the car using the key fob, uh, it sends a trigger to the Odroid which automatically wakes that up starts it booting, so by the time you've walked to the car, opened the door, sat down, turned the ignition on, the boot up process is pretty much already done by then, so you'll, you, most of the time you'll actually be on this screen already. So it's very easy to switch between Android and the original Jaguar mode, so all you do is use the original buttons which you find on the, on the touch screen here, it's going to be between your phone, your CD player, um, the climate control, and the, the brightness is actually controlled through the menu system here. So I've got it set to night mode just so it shows up better on the camera. But if you set that to automatic, uh, when your headlights are switched on or if they're automatically come on, it will dim the, the screen just as it would with the original system. So that's quite a, a neat little feature there. So I've got this set up with a, a selection of apps. Um, you install everything using the Google Play. So if you're familiar with an Android phone, then it's exactly the same you would, you would do on your phone. Um, so I've got some, some examples here, such as TomTom, Tom, Navigation, YouTube, Spotify that I use for music, Chrome for a browser and, a, and Gmail, so I can uncheck my email on here. Now the way that this car launcher interface works is that you can set your, your most used apps onto this, this main screen here. This is fully customizable, it's, it's really powerful. But any other apps that you want to access, less frequently used ones, say you press the, the button on the right and you can access everything here. So as I say, you install everything using Google Play um, and then that will install down here and then you can move it back to the home screen, which you see here. Now there's a few different um, car launcher related 
types of apps that you can install from Google Play. So it's all down to your personal preference. When I supplied the system, it would come with the original basic Android launcher, which has just got all the icons on a, on a home screen. And then you install this car launcher and it will give you this user interface here. And there's various different skins available. So this is one theme that I like, which is called the leather theme, which comes as part of the Car Launcher Pro. But there's different layouts you can use depending on your own preference. Another handy shortcut here is that you can press nav and that will launch your preferred navigation app, which you can configure in the settings. I've actually got it set up here for the GPS test app so I can you know, check my satellite signal. But in reality, you'd set that up for, say, TomTom or Waze or, or Google Maps, whatever you prefer. So I'll just explain how the audio part of the system works. Um, so as part of the Jagdroid modification, there's an, an auxiliary input which is wired into the CD player here. And that, that takes sound from the Android system into the CD player. So the way that that works is if you're listening to say, this is the, the FM radio, which I can show you if I go into audio, that's, that's your radio. If you press the CD button, you need to have an audio CD in the drive, which is pretty much you leave one in all the time. And then using AMEM, you can switch between, that's the CD sound, um, and the silence here is now it's set to Android mode. So if I go back onto Nav, I can go to Spotify and I can play some music from Spotify. Now, I'll only play a, a short snippets because of copyright reasons on, with YouTube videos. Um, I can't play any full tracks. So I'll just play, play a small amount here. And I can demonstrate to you that you can use the track skip backwards and forwards on the CD player and also on the steering wheel controls here. So if I press skip track forward, and forward, and back, and then on the steering wheel controls as well, it can do exactly the same. So you can see the, tr the tracks uh, moving through. And what you can also do is if you notice it's got a pause icon here, if I go back to the FM radio, it's gone back to play. So it automatically will stop that music for you when you move back to the radio or if you play a CD using the CD changer, just so it's not sort of playing your music in the background. Now you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi here using my, my um, home Wi-Fi hotspot. But generally when you're on the move, you'd want to use a, a Wi-Fi from your, your mobile phone, something like that, to, to give Wi-Fi to the Odroid so you can stream music and, and get live traffic updates on your navigation app. For quite a while, I used to use a standalone 4G MiFi type device with it with its own SIM card in, but I realized it was actually cheaper just to upgrade the data plan on my own phone uh, and use that as a, a hotspot um, to give Wi-Fi to the Odroid system. If you use an, an Android phone, there's actually a handy little automation app called Tasker which you can use, which will carry out certain actions based on different triggers. So I've set it up so that when my phone detects that it's connected to the Jaguar Bluetooth telephone module, it will automatically enable the personal hotspot on my phone and broadcast Wi-Fi to the Odroid. And then when I turn the ignition off, that Bluetooth connection disconnects and my phone turns its personal hotspot off and, and its own Wi-Fi back on. So that's quite a, a neat trick and means that you can just literally get in your car, start it up, drive away. You don't need to connect the Wi-Fi. It will do that for you. Another thing you can do if you don't want to use Spotify is you can you can actually link your, your phone and play music via Bluetooth. So I'll show you how that works. If you go into the Bluetooth menu on the Odroid, so the quickest way is to swipe down, hold the Bluetooth button there, I'm going to pair a new device. So that will broadcast as Jagdroid N2 and it will be looking for other devices to connect to. So if I do the same thing on my phone as well, uh, so that's scanning. So you can see I'm connected to Jaguar for telephone calls. And on the, um, the Odroid, it's come up with, this is my phone here. So if I click pair, it will ask, do I want to pair? Yes, I do. And then also on the phone, you do the same thing. And you'll see a little Bluetooth icon's appeared up in the corner here. So if I now on my phone go into uh, Spotify and I can play some music from here. Let's turn the volume up and go on to CD for Android mode. So this is playing off my phone. So you can see I can play and pause. Now there is one limitation of using this method and if you try and skip the tracks using the controls here or on the steering wheel, it doesn't actually pass those commands back through to the phone for some reason, which I think is a limitation of, of something in the Android distribution here. Um, so you just need to be aware that that is the case. Personally, I always prefer to play music directly using native apps on the Android system itself. 
There's another advantage to that is that the sound quality is, is superior due to the hardwired connection between the Android computer and, the, and the, the aux in, which is added to the CD player. Because whenever you play via Bluetooth, it compresses the sound and it's basically not as good as having a hardwired connection. So that's another reason just to play directly on the Android system. You, you can install any app that you would normally play on your phone. So example, Spotify here is the same as the one that I have on my phone, logged in using the same user account. So I've got all the same playlists, everything like that. For me, that's just an easier way to do it. And then at least I can, you know, operate everything through the, the touchscreen here rather than having to touch my phone at all. On the latest version of the conversions that I do now, there's actually integration with, um, with Google Assistant and you can use the voice button on your steering wheels. If you double press the voice button on your steering wheel, like so, It'll launch Google Assistant. So if you've got a microphone connected to your system, you can you can interact with Google Assistant and ask it to launch apps and, and ask it questions like what's the weather, that kind of thing. So that's a, an easy shortcut to having to navigate through the screen here. You can use just use the voice commands. And it doesn't affect the, the built-in Jaguar voice because you can still do that by pressing the button once. That'll activate your built-in Jaguar voice system. But if you double press it, it will activate the Google Assistant instead. So that was a quick overview of some of the basic things you can do with the, the Android system. Obviously, as I said before, you can install any apps that you want. So it, it's really powerful. You can install players like iPlayer, uh, Netflix, all those, those kinds of things. So it's very powerful in what it can do. So if you want any more information or would like to order a conversion for your own car, best thing to do is visit my website at www.jagdroid.org. You can also follow and like our Facebook page, Jagdroid. And it'd really help if you subscribe to this channel and like the video. Um, if you do have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and I'll try and answer those. Um, alternatively, you can send me a message through the Jagdroid Facebook page or send me an email at info at jagdroid.org. Thank you very much for watching.